Because it's frustrating when, you know, you know, you're talented, you're a good person at heart, you're trying to do this for the right reasons. Like, obviously, we like money. We want to make money. Yeah. And we want to make money doing our craft. But, like, I want to be able to take care of my mom and my two sisters, yeah. you know. And I want to, I want other black queer artists to win. And yeah. yes, I want to see myself on the cover of, uh, you know, given like dead ass. And I want to be walking in New York and be in Times Square and be like, <laughs> you know, I want to give that, you know, but, um, and that's for myself. That's for myself. But I'm doing this for such more depth. It's not just, oh, I want to be famous and have money, be pretty, and go to parties. Like, yeah, no, like that's not why I'm doing it. Like, yes, I want to be at the Met Gala high in a winter. Yes. Um, but yes. you know, I still want to do it for the right reasons. You know, I think a lot of people they see the glitz and the glamour and the makeup, but they don't understand like taking photos of myself to get the shot at 3 a.m. because the light sits a certain way, or not getting the shot, or being shadow banned on Instagram because someone reported me, or it's all these things that just come with it. And social media is one thing that it is a platform that I have used, but also when you interact with people. There's been so many people who got a little following on Instagram and you meet them. It's like, oh my gosh, like I love your work and it's giving. Mm. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Like, because at the end of the day, the fans, I hate saying fans, people who support you are going to be the one that's going to put your name out there. That's so true. it's like you make it, you make a name for yourself and now you forgot who got you there, yeah. you know, and people get blindsided and, you know, yes, people are crazy, but I'm never going to, I always say, never let shitty people's actions make you become a shitty person. Yeah. Um, and so that's something that I try to live by all the time. I've made mistakes. I'm not perfect there. I don't want to say it. there's things that, sure, there's when I was younger that I wish I didn't do, but you live and learn and that builds that character. And, you know, first, what is it? First time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. Yeah. So, so um, I have a question for you. What's up? We've already seen pieces of the world. What's in Germany? Berlin. Do you have any connections to Germany? <sighs> connections like, I not really. I don't want to lie to you. I have, I know some people in Germany, but not to be like, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be one of those girls that, you know, like, I never, I never, my sister tells me this. Um, she says, uh, don't expect people to think how you think mm -hmm. or react how you want them to react. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and some, I, we're grown, we're adults, you know, we have our lives, like we go to work, we do this, we do that. And, you know, you do have friends, like I have friends in my phone, we don't talk for two months. I call them, hey, how's it been? What's up, bitch? And it's not like, Oh, you only call me when you need something or, oh, you haven't talked to me. And it's like, we live in such a culture where everyone asks for handouts that like, when you like need something because you haven't talked to someone like in a while, they make it like, make you feel bad that you asked. Um, and that's, I hate that. It's just, we're all just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I have another question. What's in, what's in Tokyo? Tokyo? I haven't been in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, I haven't had time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I haven't had, I haven't had the timing. time, and that's a that's it's again it's timing. Yeah, um, timing. Yeah, it's it's timing. One hundred percent. I want to go back to I want to go back to Europe. I was actually having this conversation yesterday with okay. my friend and I was saying I want to do like a whole because I I have been a lot of places, but I want to start in like Ireland and do Ireland, London, Spain, Germany, and just knock out like Stockholm, um, uh, the Netherlands, no Norway, like and knock out just and really just do it. Like my thirties will be. Uh, I just want to travel more. I have been very fortunate that I have been able to travel, but I worked very fucking hard to give myself that type of lifestyle right now i do want to kind of settle in more especially just getting older and um having been a lot of places that also does pull into the queer cowboy aesthetic so mm. you know when things slow down because i started a new job and so when things start uh start slowing down i'll probably look to go travel more mm. and like just take two months and just do it yeah so. you know when i was a young aspiring model at uh, 21 years old because I was I started I started at 19 um, but what I did um, is what you were talking about you know I like I said I'm 39 years old 
So I'm from a different generation. Um, but what I did was while my grandmother was teaching school and I was her teacher's assistant, I would sit at her little, you know, little Apple computer. And I literally emailed modeling agencies all over the world. I submitted photos and wherever I got a yes, I was going to go. And the crazy thing is I had been told no so much in um, New York. You're too thin, you're beautiful, you have the look. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? You have you're the look. Thin? <laughs> no, they would tell me you have the look, but you are mm. too thin for New York, yes. New York yeah. is all about the blonde hair, the big, you know, the cowboy, basically the cowboy, the, mm. the, the Midwestern look. The guy is working in the fields all day and plowing a tractor and stuff like that, that way, that kind of thing. So I remember just putting my feelers out. And I remember going to New York one last time and I went to boss model management and the director at that time pulled me out of line. And you know what I noticed about that line? They were all predominantly black and Latin models trying to get signed. Yeah. Not, very, not very many whites. On the days where you know they had open calls, it was mainly blacks and Latins trying to get in. Yeah. And, and I noticed that. You like, I, I don't wanna, I don't want to put that out there, but mm -hmm. I, this is again, something that I thought of, like if I was white, fully tatted and gay queer cowboy, mm -hmm. where would I be? You know, and I don't like thinking negative like that, mm -hmm. but again, it's, it's not negative. That's just a realization. Like you said, you said it earlier yeah. in this, and you said it in this interview, it's not you, it's what's been placed on you. Yeah. And it's like any black, anything has to try twice as hard and yeah. it's like at, as i get older you know i don't because i don't like putting negative anything out because mm -hmm. it attracts but being just a real a realist mm -hmm. uh, and you see it you see the statistics on social media you know like instagram is a huge platform you know i've gotten mm -hmm. a lot of gigs i've been able to travel the world because of instagram so mm -hmm. people say, oh social media isn't a big deal it is it is doing it for the right reason like obviously it's a facade obviously you know like sometimes i just put on an outfit just for a picture and that's mm -hmm. just part of my artistry it's not necessarily i'm going anywhere but so what we all do it yeah. but it's the opportunities mm -hmm. you know if someone said it on instagram this porn star he was like it's really sad that people of color you know they run laps this is this is by the way this is a white porn star who has said this he said it's really sad that people of color have to they run laps with dick body ass content on tumblr on instagram but you get like a white twink who's shirtless and he gets fifteen thousand likes and this like stunning adonis black man gets like 300 mm -hmm. and it's like if if everyone's beautiful and you find everyone attractive then feel that you know if a lot of people do go off the likes and the comments, you know, and not everyone is strong minded, you know, and if if someone takes a picture and they get 50 likes and then they follow someone who's getting more likes, you start comparing yourself and it's like, oh, well, am I not beautiful because I'm not getting the likes and it's this is it's, not it, our country. Yeah, and, it, it's and, it's, and, I, and it's nothing to do with us. It's just the society and yeah. the world that we're put in. And it's really, you know, when I was younger, I did deal with that a bit as I get older, you know, obviously like it doesn't matter how confident i am like there are days where i'm like well shit if i was still giving this as a white boy like what where would i be but again i know that my book's already written mm -hmm. and the reason why it's taking longer is because i'm going to last longer yeah that's longevity that's what i said that in a video um recently that i made and i said i'm not out for anything i'm willing to take the time. I've been in this business for 20 years. I've heard a lot of no's. I started at 19 and I've mm. heard a lot of no's. I got the opportunity to sing for a &Rs. I had an a &R. I was going to sign with a major record label. Um, and then uh, the vocal coach, I had all of that. And then I walked away. It just wasn't what I wanted. And what I want to emphasize, even as we're talking, is that the divine that power that is greater than ourselves also has a hand in not allowing us to link our wagons 
to the wagons of the way that things are being done in the industry right now. Because the way that things are being done in the industry right now, they will see you for a moment and then you will fall by the wayside. So the way that the divine is doing it, because it's not just you, it's so much. We have a friend in common. Um, he goes by Tokyo. Tokyo mm-hmm. bad, Tok's bad. He, that, that's how I also found you. It's because yeah. he, like he said something and um, I just was like, wow, this is your friend. Like, this is amazing. But um, it's like you said, it, it's, happening and it's taking so long it took me 20 years to get here because and yes i'm 39 but what is what is all of those years uh, of struggle and turmoil when i get to live the rest of my life living my dream out loud and happy and for me my dream is not in this country and i'm well aware of that now france is where i belong i got the opportunity to go i'm going back i asked you and started naming places in europe because you have something, I don't mind you. Yes, they wanted me to book models. Yes, I show a lot of black and Latin men on my page and those men do get work and jobs and gigs. But the thing about it is I will never not push Europe. Europe is where we thrive. 